Good evening. Here is your shindig host, Jimmy O'Neill. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and shindiggers everywhere. I'm Jimmy O'Neill, and tonight it's my great pleasure to introduce you to a very unusual program with an all-star cast from the American International Picture, Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine. James H. Nicholson and Samuel Z. Arkoff present The Wild, Weird, World of Dr. Goldfoot. The Wild Weird World of Dr. Goldfoot. Starring Vincent Price, Tommy Kirk, Susan Hart, Aaron Kincaid, and special guest star Harvey Lembeck. Dr. Goldfoot. In this world, there are good people and bad people. <laughs> Three guesses as to which side I'm on. <laughs> the wild, weird world of Dr. Goldfoot is brought to you by Stridex, the amazing medicated pad that helps you wipe out pimples because it actually deep cleans the dirt soap can't reach. Here's an amazing demonstration of how Stridex medicated pads really help wipe out pimples. Hello, can I have your name, please? Nancy Nichols. Nancy, would you help us with our demonstration by washing your face, please? Sure. Thank you very much. You see, Stratex medicated pads help wipe out skin problems because they deep clean the dirt that soap can't reach. They're recommended by doctors because they deep clean the oiliness and dirt that cause skin problems. And they leave invisible medication that helps clear up old pimples. Now, those greasy cover-ups and gels have no cleaning power. But Stratex, well, just watch. Nancy, is your face really clean now? I think so. Okay, just wipe your face with a Stratex pad. That's right. Stratex pads are disposable, you know. And we'll just put it down on the tray and take a good close look. See that dirt? Sure do. Visible proof that Stratex can help wipe out your pimples because it deep cleans the dirt that soap can't reach. So get Stratex. People have said that Goldfoot is an evil genius with a penchant for performing villainous deeds. <laughs> now, oh, thank you. <laughs> now, honestly, can you believe that? <laughs> yes, Master. Oh, Hugo, you clod, be quiet or I'll turn you back into a frog or a frog or whatever it was that you used to be. <laughs> now, as I was saying, my aim is diabolically simple. I am going to control the world. I have invented the ultimate in ultimate weapons, the one weapon that can positively destroy man. Woman. Hugo, you may describe. Yes, Master. <gasps> Nifty! Works just like magic, this here gadget. You can tell, and no one but Goldfoot can make them half as well. He has a teleporter, and right before your eyes, you transport objects. Before you realize, from here to there to the ends of the world, and that's just one machine unfurled. It works like the evil on the eve of Halloween. Oh yeah, incidentally, it's called the guillotine. My master, Dr. Goldfoot, he's a man to dread. Did someone displease him? Ahead. He's got a lot of what it takes, you see. And not only that, Goldfoot's got me. It works oh so grand here as I stand here telling you. 
you of how Dr. Goldfoot will cast a spell on you. He has a great invention, I must admit, too much. A super duper special with a Goldfoot touch, a bikini machine. He has to rule the world, a Goldfoot's bikini machine. Makes a girl. Hugo, I told you not to handle the merchandise. Well, as you have seen, I have made a better man trap, and the world will undoubtedly beat a path to my door. <laughs> now, this gadget here can tune me in any place in the world, and Hugo is now setting it so I can have a, a peek into a secret room in the Pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you wonder what we're doing here. And what is going on? Ever since I came to this secret intelligence command, I've been looked at and poked and put in strange chairs. Come on, oh, and a half level. You, Malcolm Andrews, are the hope of the free world. You're putting me on. No. In that otherwise empty brain of yours, we have cataloged all of the secret and classified information available to this country. Wow. Yeah, but you're only smart when you sit in that chair and... Someone turns you on. I get to sit in the chair again? Right. Let's go into the memory bank and we'll make a little deposit. All right, Malcolm. Who was Pablo Picasso? Pablo Picasso was a Spanish sculptor. He was born in 1881. He founded the Impressionist School of Art, also noted for his sculpture. Yes, 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 I, I must have that boy. Uh, Master? <laughs> yes? Master? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yeah, well, what about that secret agent assigned to Gotham, double O and a half? Shave him? This is shaving. <laughs> oh, you're right, you're right. Yes, I must have that walking encyclopedia. Even if it means doing away with O oh, and a half. Yes, O oh, Master of Mystery. You go crush him. And you go. Yes, O oh, Prince of Darkness. Start the machine. <laughs> Too tall. Too short! Too short! Yes, yes, this one is just right. <laughs> Turn off the machine. Yes, yes, you'll do very nicely. And I shall call you uh, Diane. I once had a pet cobra by that name. I am Diane. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, Hugo. <laughs> you will be in charge of this fantastic creation of my twisted imagination. <laughs> yes. While I try to duplicate that machine that we saw at the Pentagon. Yes, so wizard of rottenness. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is your assignment, Diane. Now, um, watch. Well, the story is this way. Being the youngest member at SIC, I was chosen to guard you. You see, that way I won't look out of place when I travel with you. Sure is a comfort to have you around. Huh? But you know, I'm feeling a little cooped up in here. You think we could go for a walk in the park? I need some air. Well, you need something. Yeah, come on, kid. But look at that. Stick close to me. Huh? Yes. <laughs> yes, we can set a trap. But be careful of oh and a half, Diane. No, he's vicious. He's cute. Cute? Remember, you're a robot, and I can control you with this. I obey, O oh Master. I will avoid O-O oh, oh, and a half. Avoid him. Destroy him, if necessary. 
I'll destroy him, if necessary. And the other one? I'll see that he's brought back to you. Good. You go. Hugo. Yes, Hugo. Hugo, will you stop moving? Speak up, Hugo. Yes. Yes, you're right, Hugo. You go with her and make sure that she runs smoothly. Yes, O Emperor of all bad things. Will you? I'll hold on to myself. Hi there, Malcolm, old friend. Nice to see you again. You remember Diane, don't you? I uh... Sure you do. You're old friends. We sure are old friends. <laughs> Malcolm, do you know these people? The fellow has shifty eyes. Yeah, we're, uh, we're old friends, I think. I've dreamed of meeting you again, Malcolm. Well, I, I've dreamed of meeting you, too. I, I... Mm, you know, that's what I like about you, Malcolm. You're such a smooth talker. <laughs> and you know, I... Oh, no. You sure talk funny. Uh, friend? Yeah? Do you have a dime I could borrow? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. Double O and a half calling headquarters. Come in. Come here, Bynard. Bynard, come here. I'm over here. Bynard, Bynard, come here. Bynard, come, come here. Sit down. Sit down. Sit, sit. Something really strange is going on here. Something really strange is going on here. Right. Will do. Right. Will do. So long, Bynard. must have gotten a direction finder messed up. <laughs> Diane, not him, him! <laughs> uh, Malcolm, headquarters thinks this girl might know something, and I'm gonna try and find out. Would you like to dance? I'd love to dance. <laughs> Me too. Diane must have gotten a wires crossed. Hey, Malk. I know a place where there's a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. A nightclub I know really swings. <laughs> yeah? I guarantee <laughs> it'll kill you. Going to dance. I thought we could uh, talk. Talk to me. Uh, tell me about yourself. Well, I don't have much of a past. I'd say you're about 20. No, more like a half hour. Oh, where are you from? The machine. Oh, Michigan. If you like. What's your name? Diane. Diane what? That's right. What's right? What's right? W-A-T-T. -T. Like in light bulb. Uh, just like in light bulb. You turn me on. Oh, uh, <clears throat> where do you work? Wherever the doctor sends me. Oh, you're a nurse. Uh, all right, if you like. I can be programmed to be a nurse. Wait a minute. What did you say the name of the doctor is that you work for? 
Dr. Goldfoot. Looks bad for our side. But don't worry. At SIC, we have a motto. Come nimbus regulatum in hoc signi e pluribus multi, which means something or other in Latin. I think we'd better get back to Malcolm. What am I going to tell them at headquarters? Oh, don't worry. They'll probably be back. Oh, sure. While you were taking care of me, your friend took care of Malcolm. All right. Come on. Talk. Where, where'd he take him? Now, we've plenty of time to discuss that, darling. Now, why don't we sit down and get acquainted first? After all, you owe it to the Secret Intelligence Command, the Little League, and your mother. Do you believe this? Woman, sensitive, inquisitive. She'll try anything for fastidious deodorant protection. Creams, roll-ons, aerosols. Ooh, most deodorants can be too irritating. They warn if rash develops, discontinue use. Better try mum, no warning required. No harsh chemicals in mum to irritate normal skin. So get protection without harshness. Mum roll-on, cream, or new aerosol spray. Who's my next lesson? He's a real doll, pal. Great, I'll go get her. With that hair? Okay, okay. And white cream? Forget the grease job. Here, score. New clear hair cream. Clear in your hand, clear in your hair. But that white cream looks greasy. On your hand, on your hair. Your white cream or score. Which one? Clear score. Looks like you're in control. Always, pal, when you know your score. Hair cream. What's a boy supposed to do with a girl like you? Disarming, alarming, charming are you. You never let me know just how you feel. You got me so I don't know if you are real. What's a girl supposed to do with a boy like you? purpose. I'm supposed to be watching Malcolm. Don't you like being with me? Oh, of course I do, Diane, but I am a secret agent, and I was supposed to be watching over Malcolm continually, and now I've gone and fallen for you, and oh, I'm in a whole heap of trouble. Oh, I don't want you to get in trouble. I'll help you find Malcolm. <laughs> Hey, what kind of place is this? Oh, it's the latest thing. It's a new uh, 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 scientific ass. 
astronauts type nightclub. It's called the uh, All Systems A Go Go. <laughs> yeah. Neat. 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 Waiter, bring us some champagne for everybody. Yeah. And let's start the floor show. Floor show? Look, did you tell him this was a nightclub? Shh, King of Evil, it's the only way I could get him to come here. Please, bring the champagne, Garkin. Garkin, ich. I beg your pardon? Well, that's my name, Garkin, ich. <laughs> I don't know about this place. I think it's a drag and a half. I'm cutting out of here. Oh, no, yo, man. No, yo, no, no. Right this way. Right over here now. Yeah. I'm sure that we have everything you might want here. Now, uh, isn't that comfy in that lovely chair? That's <laughs> very nice. Yeah. yeah. Chair! Chair! What? I'll stand. All yeah. right. There you go. Well, now, sir. <laughs> Here you are, your order, please. Do you have a menu? Well, no, we don't, but I'm sure we might have anything that you could desire. Well, in that case, uh, bring me a can of Columbia River salmon, covered with chocolate syrup, and surrounded by a circle of Portuguese sardines, lying on a blanket of Polish ham with shredded red cabbage on the side, topped by a smidgen of mozzarella cheese, and pizza-flavored mayonnaise, but hold the peanut butter. For number four, but hold the peanut butter. There, now, let's see. There we are. Well, what are you doing? Well, you see, we can't afford a band, so we have the stereo music piped in. <laughs> I don't know about it. You told me you were taking me to a swinging place. Well, we do the best we can. You know how it is with temporary help. <laughs> yes. Now, there. Now, uh, what happened on July 4th, 1776? How should I know? I was before I was born. Oh, drat it. Something's gone wrong. The thing's not functioning correctly. I don't hear any music, and I don't see any floor show. And I'm cutting out. Oh, no, 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 peanut butter? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, here you are. <laughs> now... Master? Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, so you brought him with you, eh? He asked me to. He asked you to? Are you forgetting who gives orders around here? Oh, you do, Master. Master? Hey, what is this? I am Dr. Goldfoot, and this is my private laboratory, and this girl is my robot. Robot? Yes, of course. <laughs> she may look like a real girl, but she is no more than a robot. Instead of flesh and bone, she has steel and wires. Well, nobody's perfect. And as for you, my friendly secret agent, you shall never leave here alive. Oh, I will. And I'm going to take him with me. Well, I haven't finished my sandwich yet. That's right. You eat now, you'll talk later. Hey, boss. Uh, thank you. Yes, <laughs> flesh and bone, steel and wires. <laughs> the strength of the locomotive is hidden beneath the frail exterior of my, my golden girls, my robots. <laughs> Does anyone have any salt? Diane, look, we're gonna cut out of here. Why don't you come with us? Because she can't. She was created for one purpose. She has been programmed for destruction. 
You know something, Master? Fine. I love the way you say that. Thank you. Action! Brother, you really believe in carrying out a joke, don't you? Diane? Diane? The other way, Diane, dear. Listen, uh, in the park, you know, her direction for me. Uh, turn found around, her. Diane. Remember you said pull on the ear? Go I back, pulled on Diane. the ear. I don't know. Ah, mutiny! I think she blew up you! Holy mackerel! Hey, Malcolm, come on, I'm getting you out of here. Come on. Wait, what about the floor show? I get it! Look, this is no nightclub. Come on, or finish this at headquarters, I don't care. But I'm getting you out of here. Let's go. But there's a floor show. This is not a nightclub. Oh, yeah? Start the floor show. I see Susie has another cold. That's the third this year, isn't it? I do everything I can. I watch Susie's diet, make sure she gets plenty of rest, but the colds keep coming. What more can I do? For fewer colds, milder colds, use Listerine antiseptic. Only Listerine of all leading mouthwashes contains so many active ingredients to kill germs. Tests over a 12-year period proved that people who gargled with Listerine full strength twice a day, every day, had fewer colds, milder colds than those who did not. For colds and sore throats, more people gargle with Listerine than any other oral antiseptic. See that your family gargles with Listerine every day. Give your family the extra protection they need during these cold-catching months. Remember, for fewer colds, milder colds, use Listerine antiseptic. Well, you guys sure got here in a hurry. You bet, you guys are top priority. But from now on, you've got nothing to worry about. You're in our hands. Sure, I'm glad of that. Fasten your seat belts. <laughs> the wild, weird world of Dr. Goldfoot has been brought to you by Listerine Antiseptic. Tests over a 12-year period proved that those who gargled Listerine full strength twice a day had fewer colds, milder colds. Price, Susan Hart, Aaron Kincaid, and special guest star Harvey Lembeck appeared through the courtesy of American International Pictures, producers of the all-new feature-length motion picture, Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine. Bikini Machine.